I entered the hardware industry when I was 12 years old. Um, my dad had a little store here in the Haight-Ashbury neighborhood in San Francisco and I was his after-school kid. This store that we're in right now, which is our store in the Haight-Ashbury neighborhood in San Francisco, is sort of our flagship store, if you will. Uh, we've just always carried a wide variety of things to meet the needs of the community for just about anything that uh, we could think to put in. My dad always had a motto of carry one of everything ever made. So we don't do that, obviously, but we try. You know, probably like everybody else, I think the most unique facet of our store really are the people that work with us, our staff, and our our desire to uh, to help people. You know, we have uh, two sort of mission statements in our business. The first one is internal, which we say is do whatever it takes to create positive dinnertime conversation. And our outside or external mission statement is our commitment to you, your satisfaction guaranteed, period. So those two things kind of force us to do things differently. We never say no to you. We just recently uh, initiated a 24-7 free delivery service. Um, we are very active in the community uh, and uh, try to do for our customers just about anything we can and hope that they buy some nuts and bolts along the way. We have a newsletter in our business, it's actually a newspaper and we call it the Hardware Hotline. It's a 16 page newspaper and we uh, direct mail 60,000 copies a month to residents in San Francisco and that has become sort of the centerpiece of our branding in the city. Uh, and helping us to create the name Cole Hardware as being just as strong, frankly, as Ace Hardware. Our brand of Cole Hardware is very important in the city. San Francisco uh, prides itself on sort of a shop local kind of thing and uh, a non-chain city, if you will. And, uh, and so we've created a brand, not only through that as a marketing piece, but um, the newspaper was given, giving us an opportunity to differentiate ourselves from other stores, talking about our services, talking about uh, products to educate people on living a better life that's morphed into kind of a sustainable life, if you will, as we've taken on green initiatives. and. Uh, and so we continually try to do things and have new initiatives, really, so we have something to write about. <laughs> we, we try to market to people's hearts, if you will, I and mean, we have a, a community partnership program that we developed years ago, school and community partnership program that, that we uh, 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 partner with schools and community groups uh, versus sort of begrudgingly donate, we proactively donate and uh, we've set out a long time ago to make sure that that was an expanded list of organizations and that we sort of bragged about it or at least uh, benignly marketed it in our newsletter and I think today we have about six or seven hundred organizations in San Francisco that we actually uh, partner with. Uh, we also have been a strong advocate for environmental issues in San Francisco. In fact, our business is uh, the first certified green hardware stores in America. We're literally certified by government agencies as, as being green. And so uh, recycling is uh, a, a big part of our business. In fact, our employees often think that we are a recycling center instead of a retail store. The Department of Environment in San Francisco is very proactive and they were sort of open to work with us and uh, set up a program just in our stores where we would take batteries back from the consumers. They would pick them up and I think at the time they were shipped to some place in Arizona for rendering or whatever. Uh, we then uh, approached them about recycling uh, fluorescent light bulbs and then a very successful program of recycling latex paint. Um, we have a woman named Noel Nix that works for us and we had an outside window display company that did our windows and they uh, for whatever reason we parted company with them and Noel sort of approached me and said you know I'd really like to take a shot at the windows and I said great she's a very c creative person we get feedback from customers all the time on our windows uh, especially those that are downtown store they have a, uh, a 40 foot frontage that's of the window display and so that's her palette. 
and the visual merchandisers from Macy's and Gump's and Bloomingdale's, etc., they all come and see them every month and people on the streets come in. In fact, the windows are much cooler than the store, <laughs> you know, in, in many ways. But, uh, and whatever she puts in the window, just black and white, just sells. You know, for years, we've sort of prided ourselves on doing things differently. And, uh, and I think we've been successful at that, and it's nice to be recognized for it. Um, and I think in, in the process, it's uh, uh, nice to be able to, for me, to be able to indirectly uh, perhaps teach or demonstrate to other hardware retailers that if you think differently, it'll benefit your business.